has to go to bed. He's uh, all right. He's, so anyway, I just have I'm to give him a kiss. I have to think about you. Say good night to him. Right. Yeah. Um, we just hey, have to think about you now, and I think about recording, so that's okay. Right. Um, so I'm hoping that you're getting some changes more in the way that you're thinking about yourself and appreciating your bodies, appreciating who you are. And that the, the thing we spoke about on Monday where we feel like we need things outside of ourselves to be complete. I'm hoping that that's taking hold as well. And you've thought about what you actually do need and, and recognizing that you're already enough. You already have within you everything you need to achieve what you want to achieve. It's nice, as I said, to have this group and appreciate the kind of energy that we have with each other. But we've got to understand that, that sooner at some point, I hope, I hope it might be never, but at some point this, this group's going to split up and we're going to go our own ways. And at that point, we need to know that it's not about, we don't need the support of anyone else. It's great to have it and we can appreciate it, but we've got to find that inner strength ourselves. So I'm hoping you're finding that. And I hope for those who are who want to lose weight, uh, I'm just going to see if I can find this one person. I'm not going to name anyone, but I, I think she might be here. Um, I don't know if I can see her or not. I can't see her, but um, one, of, one of our members was talking about starting running. And today I've got a picture of her with her trainers on, her posh trainers, because she's been saving these trainers for when she goes running. But she listened to Laurie Hammond where she said, eat the best stuff first rather than leave it to the last, because if you leave it to the last, more, more chance of eating it, uh, even if you're not hungry. So she was wearing a tatty pair of trainers because she was saving her good trainers for when she started running. She realized then, if I put my good trainers on now, so she put them on and she went for a run. So I was really proud of them. I'm just going to say that if she is here, I'm, I can't see her at the moment. But yeah, so. Um, Thanks, Freddie. I'm here. <laughs> where? I, I'm here. I just have a picture up. All oh, right. Okay. Can't. There. <laughs> oh, there you are. Okay, great. I didn't want to name you just in case, but I'm so chuffed that you've, that you've done that. And now you've, now you've taken that first step and that going for that, at least even if it's a quarter of a mile, you're on, you're on track now, you know, and you're going to, and you loved it. Did you not? Yeah. Well, that's all that matters, isn't it? And now there is no stopping you. So I'm hoping you're getting that and I'm hoping you're starting to understand your worth, your value. So you start to look after yourself. And no, it's okay to love yourself. As I said, in England, you know, it's, it's kind of derogatory when someone says, well, he loves himself. But the fact is, why not? You know, and because you might as well love yourself. And as I said, when you're beating yourself up, what I say to my clients is enough people out there want to beat you up without beating yourself up. Now get on your own side. Don't get on their side of the fence and do that. So anyway, that's what I was going to say about it. But tonight, um, some of you listen to Laurie Hammond's uh, podcast about the imposter monster, that voice in our head that's always kind of putting us down. Um, but my friend Gailene, she's here tonight. And we, were, we had a discussion last night. Uh, it might even be in the morning because she's in Australia. So I completely lose track of when we're speaking to each other. But what she was saying was that it's, there's all, you know, we, all that talk about self-sabotage. We, we sabotage yourself. We stop ourselves from doing stuff. But we know that, and we've got Laurie Hammond. If you want to visit her podcast, she's brilliant at talking about the imposter monster. But what I'm going to talk about today is the saboteurs outside of ourselves in the, in the real, um, the, the physical realm. People who, whether, whether they're doing it consciously or not, are kind of holding you back from where you want to be. It can be just a word. And if you're like me, who gets spiked very, very easily, <laughs> You know, it doesn't take much for me to knock me off track. You know, people think, well, I'm really confident. I'm really this and I'm really that. Someone just says, says something nasty and I'm like in a corner for about three days, shriveled up, you know, hoping the world doesn't see me. But, and I think we're all like that at some, some, some point. And they're not always the saboteurs out there. They come in all kinds of different guises. There is the person that's who always seems to be putting you down. But many of your uh, saboteurs come into come into your life with a smile they come into your life with a soft voice so we have to kind of recognize it and we don't all the time so what we're going to do when we do some hypnosis tonight is get your your antenna 
Lovely. Really, really functioning properly. Right. So you can so pick up on the mind, pick up on the minute. I'm just going to switch the sound off for a moment because I think right. people are. Um, I'm going to mute you all just for a moment. You can always turn right. your turn yeah. your thing back on if you want. Um, can you just I don't know if I can do that. Okay, I think that's done. But say, so if you want to ask any questions, switch the mic back on. It's just that if you sneeze or cough or the dog barks or whatever happens, you're going to come up on the screen. So what we're going to do today is get your antenna working. So you, you clearly recognise those people that are not on your side. And I'm not saying you just dismiss them. All right, you're out. <laughs> I don't, I'm saying be able to, to be able to... Fend, to fend that kind of that kind of negativity off and we're going to we're going to go back to what we've been talking about before then get into a neutral state so none of their their negative energy can affect you if you like put yourself in a kind of bubble where none of that touches you because once you do that once you get into that neutral space you take away all of their power they have no power over you if they can't touch you with their words and the, the reason you can now do this where you might not have done it in the past is because now you have a better understanding of your own worth. When we, when we don't understand that, when, we're not, when we don't love ourselves enough, then we're open to all of those suggestions from other people that we can't achieve what we want to achieve or we're not good enough and all those things that happen to us throughout our life. As I said, not, not everybody does that consciously. We've got to recognize that there are people who, that feed you. And whether they're doing it consciously or not, there are people that don't want you to look and feel great because it kind of shows up their lack. So I'm asking you tonight just to get into this with me tonight. We're going to fine tune your antenna. So you're listening for those words and recognize it and then have the strength to say no. No, I, I, I'm not going to listen to this or you can't affect me anymore because this is going to change your life, not just in your creating the body you want, the health you want, the happiness you want, but in so many different areas where you may have been putting up with things that you know in your heart you're worth more. And I'm not saying it's for everybody. Some of you are, per I'm sure, perfectly happy and you've got great people around you. But for the times when this does happen and it does happen in our life, to be able to say, this can't touch me. I'm going to get back into neutral. And we've shown you how to do that now with a snap of your fingers. And I hope all of you are using that and practicing that. Because then you can make, as we said before, we make the right decisions in that state. You can take the right actions to achieve your outcome. So that's really what we're going to be doing tonight. I think to some extent, we kind of silence that your, the self-saboteur because that voice is not happening anymore because there's an overwhelming amount of love for yourself, which you didn't have before. So that voice can't get through, but we are still open to the voices around us. So that's what we're going to do. Fine tune your antenna so that you can pick up on when people, even when they come into your life with a smile and a soft voice, but you know, your, your, your instincts will be telling you, this person's not on my side. My, this is my action. I'm pretty hard about things. You're either on my side or you're not on my side. You're either on my path or you're not on my path. And I, I, probably because I'm so old, I think to myself, I don't have time to spend with somebody that's not on my side. And I'm harsh about it. I don't, because I don't need, which is what we were talking about on Monday. Once you're past that need that I need this person to be my friend or I need this person to be to love me or I need this person to to motivate me. Once you're past that and you're in tune with your own body and say, no, I appreciate myself. I'm going to take care of myself because I am worth it. Then when the, when the people that maybe in the past would have affected you or held you back, they're not going to be able to touch you. And only you know where you want to be in your life. And you'll know those people are on your side and those who aren't. And I know it's not easy because we're caught up in the matrix of life. It's not easy to say, okay, I'm off or go for my life. 
But what you can do is live a part of and apart from that matrix. So you can function exactly how you want to function and appreciate when people love you, appreciate when people help you, but don't need that. So you can then say, yes, you can be in my life. And for anyone that is in your life, then they know because you don't need people in your life to be happy or to function. They know that you are choosing to have them in their life because you enjoy them, you appreciate them, you love them rather than you need them. So I hope you got this tonight. So all we're going to do, we're going to re reboot your appreciation of yourself. And we're going to get you to that point where your antenna is up, picking up on all those things around you. So you don't have to put up with anything. You can just put yourself in that space where you neutralize the person's power. Or as my friend Galen would say, give it back to them. You know, and it's a great thing to be able to do. And it's something you have to practice because most of us spent years being affected by others. So if you're all ready to do this, are there any questions before we get into it? Is there anything else we wanna, you wanna uh, specifically go at today? No? You can switch your mic on if you want, if you wanna to speak to me, but if not, we're gonna get into this. Uh, yeah, yeah. A, yeah. I just have a question because I just realized today that you were doing this, these daily hypnosis, whatever, well, this event, uh, I just realized this at the Mike Mandel thing when you said, yeah, I have something else. So I was Googling to see where you were. Mm. Uh, just just to know, it, is it a hypnosis? What are you uh, actually, what is it? We're going to go into hypnosis or? We're going to go into hypnosis. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, whether you like it or not. So uh, you have no choice, I'm afraid. Um, you can <laughs> you can leave now if you don't want to go into hypnosis. But in no, a moment, you're you're all, you're going to go into a profound state of hypnosis where you can get in touch with all of your own your own inner strengths, recognize where you want to be in your life. And if you haven't been on this chancy, then you'll not you you won't know. But most of this has been about self love. Okay, is all there right. a replace? Sorry, you have replay of these. All of them on my YouTube channel. Oh, great. Thank you. Uh, it's Freddie Jackwin Hypnosis. And Thank if you, you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And uh, then when then when you whenever I post something and I'm do, generally post something every day, you'll get a notification that something's been posted. So Thank all you. of the all of the things in our little group, uh, Jessica's kickboxing, um, Tanya Parsons yoga, which we're going to she's going to do tomorrow morning, all of Mike Mandel, all the different um, presentations we had, they're all on my YouTube channel. So, um, yeah, subscribe. That'd be great. Um, okay. So are we all ready to be hypnotized? Yes. That's it. I'm ready, Freddie. Good. Excellent. So what I'd like you to do, I'm going to just do something different tonight. And, um, Another way of putting you into trance, because I know you're getting bored with me, but doing the same thing every evening. So for those of you who've got an arm on your chair, I want you to just place your arm on the chair. Okay. And I want you to do this for me. When you're ready to go into hypnosis, I'm going to show you what I want you to do, then I'm going to ask you to do it. So you open your eyes for a minute, Jenny, and just look. This is what I'm going to ask you to do. And I'm going to ask you to just lift your hand up slowly. But as you do that, I want you to take a deep breath in and close your eyes. I'm going to ask you to hold that breath for a couple of seconds. And as you breathe out, just allow your arm to drift down. And each time you do that, you're going to relax more and more. Okay, that's all we're going to do. So as I ask you to lift your arm up, take that deep breath in, hold it for a few seconds. I'll count and I'll tell you when to lower your arm and then bring it back up. Okay, are you ready? Okay, if you're ready now, just sit comfortably, place your feet separately. And I want you to now just to let your arm drift up. And as you do that, take that lovely deep breath in. And as your hand reaches the top, just hold that breath for a second. 
And then just as you let that breath out, allow your arm to drift down and relax even more, eyes opening. As that hand goes back up, just allow your eyes to close, take that wonderful deep breath in, hold it for a second. As you breathe out, allow your arm to drift down and relax even more. That's right, as that hand drifts back up now, and as your eyes close and you take that wonderful deep breath in and you hold it for a second, notice that arm stiffening. Imagine your wrist is locked, your elbows locked, your biceps locked into your shoulder. Imagine that arm is completely solid now. And as you let your breath out, understand there is nothing you can do about that for a while. Notice how your arm is completely locked. Imagine there's nothing you can do about that. Now, as you breathe out again, that arm drifts down, you're gonna go into the most profound state of hypnosis. Deeper, deeper, deeper down. Every muscle, nerve and fiber relaxing. Every word I say is gonna double that wonderful feeling. Just for a while, nobody wants anything and no one expects anything. There is nothing for you to do but to relax. Once again, I'm going to say the words and you're going to repeat them in your mind to yourself, silently to yourself. I am completely calm and relaxed. I am completely calm and relaxed. I am completely calm and relaxed. My body is completely calm and relaxed. My body is completely calm and relaxed. I recognize the good within me. Thank you. I care about you. I want you to be well. Aim these words at yourself as I say them once again. I recognize the good within me. Thank you. I care about you. I want you to be well. Now just feel yourself drifting into that beautiful space now. Just you and the sound of my voice. That's right. Imagine you're just dropping down through space and time because space and time no longer exist. Imagine you're just drifting into the most incredible space. Every word I say is going to take you even deeper into that space. And I want you to enjoy every moment. The deeper you go, the better you're going to feel. The better you feel, the deeper you'll go. 10, 20, 100 times deeper now. You may become aware of those changes in your body at a molecular level. Like you've had a bliss anesthesia, every muscle, nerve and fibre completely relaxed. Nothing bothers or affects you, nothing disturbs you. As you drift even deeper, my voice is going to drift with you to become a part of your experience now. Every word I say doubles that feeling. Just when you think you're at the ultimate state of bliss, you're going to go 10 times deeper into that state. Everything I say now becomes your reality. Every suggestion I give you, your mind and body will act upon at a molecular level. Without hesitation is now your reality. You have a conscious mind and an unconscious mind. That unconscious mind, the back of the mind, can continue to hear and understand and respond to those things I might say without the need for you to do anything at all. It's so much easier for the conscious mind simply to relax. 
and enjoy that letting go. Allowing events to occur in their own time, in their own ways. You drift as a mind. And that mind drifts without boundaries, without borders, without limits. See yourself out. It's the new year. It's 2021. You're on that path to achieving your health, your happiness, achieving your physical goals. And notice the way you move and the way you breathe. Free of every limitation. A new understanding about your worth and your value. Free of the need of anyone else outside of yourself, knowing that you are already a whole being. You are love. You are energy. You are the universe within a body. That your love and your energy cannot be contained within that physical being. And feel it spreading out from your body rippling out to the edges of the universe. It's infinite. It has no edge. And as you feel that now, as you just drift through time and space, even deeper into hypnosis than before, you can use your unconscious mind as a strength that you can utilize to deal more effectively with those things that have been a problem for you before. And so as you drift into that deep, profound state of hypnosis, I'd like your unconscious mind to allow me to speak directly to that part of you that is responsible for protecting you, for looking after you, for enabling you to be safe and well. I'd ask it to go to your creative mind and tune up that antenna that makes you aware of your environment. People who are kind to you, people are on your side and those who aren't, even those you may have not even noticed before. To be highly attuned to not just the words that people say, but the way they say it. Not just the way they say it, but the words. And you understand that people come to you in different guises with a smile, with a soft voice. And not everybody is who they appear to be. But now I want your unconscious mind to tune up your antenna. And I want it to strengthen your own inner resolve and strength. So you have the courage and the strength to say no. This isn't right. This is not for me. And have that inner strength to say it. And whenever you think you need to, to go back to neutral. A neutral emotion where you can make the right decision. You can take the right actions. You can achieve the right outcome for you. Feel those changes taking place in your body now. Because from today, your awareness will be heightened. Your inner resolve and love for yourself will be heightened you'll know that within you, you are everything you already need to be. You are love, you are energy, and it is infinite and it is endless and it is, has no edge. And we can take the energy given to us from the people in this group and the people that love you. And you can appreciate it without needing it because now you are everything you need to be within yourself. And with that new understanding about your worth, you're no longer put up with anything that's not right for you. And going back into neutral, you'll completely take away anyone else's power who tries to put power on you or tries to distract you or take you off your path. You cannot be deflected from your path. You know what you want. And you've always known what you want, how you want to be. But now you know that you can get there. 
you have the ability, you have all the resources and strength you've all ever needed, but maybe haven't seen before. But now the blinkers are off. The shackles are off. You are free. Free of every limiting belief, free of every negative thought that was ever placed on you. Just for a moment, see yourself out there once again. You now have an idea of where you want to be physically, where you want to be emotionally, where you want to be in your joy and your happiness and see yourself achieving it. Let go of every limitation, let go of every inhibition and see yourself achieving it. Step into that body and feel what it feels like and know that it's okay to feel that good. Allow yourself that pleasure. And feel it now. Feel those changes taking place in your body. Now feel that inner strength and that inner energy. Feel it growing. Feel it exploding within you. That white hot nuclear powered ball of light and love and energy that's there in your very heart center. Feel it flooding your body once again, reminding you once again that you are love, you are energy, you are beautiful, you are brilliant. And as you feel that now, your antenna is finely tuned to anything that doesn't serve your purpose, whether that's food, whether that's people, or anything else in your life that doesn't serve your purpose, your, your, your goal, your inner truth, your inner values, and you're going to find an inner strength you've never had before, the ability to say no thank you, to say it's not for me, and to completely negate their power because you're going to go to neutral and in neutral you can see clearly so you can make the right decisions feel it now feel that energy and that love just flooding your body and just i'm going to go silent so that you can enjoy it for a moment Feel yourself just slipping into that space. Think how far you've come over these last few weeks. Think of the changes you've already made. I want you to hit, say those words again to yourself. I recognize the good within me. Thank you. I care about you. I want you to be well. You now know that you love yourself enough to treat yourself to the life you want. We are not put on this planet to suffer. We are put on this planet to thrive. And your mind and body do everything to make that happen for you. So as you drift deeper and deeper now, I'd like to thank that part that runs that protective mechanism for finally tuning your antenna to everything in your life that doesn't serve your purpose anymore. To take back full control of you, to know that you're worth doing it for to treat your body with the right foods because your body is worth it. To be kind to yourself because you are worth it. To allow yourself to love, allow yourself to be loved without needing. To enjoy food without needing. Because now you are complete control of you. 
go with your unconscious often as you need to to know that you're free free to be because you've been deleting those old decisions that are no longer viable they're obsolete decisions that you made or other people made on your behalf that voice in your head is now just positive it knows what you want it would do it for you it wants you to thrive so as you drift into that space Maybe interesting to know that in that relaxed drifting space where thoughts drift by like dreams and some enter the mind and some drift through the mind, some are left behind to be used later on. Others are remembered or seem to be remembered at first, but then become more and more distant, forgotten over time. This entire experience may seem so far away like a dream you had. As the unconscious mind protects the conscious mind and leaves those things behind, forgotten, but remembered too. Just for a moment, I want you to have the pleasure of drifting up out of your body, the essence of who you are, the intangible part of your being, the observer in that body, the passenger. Just drift away for a while. Maybe look back at yourself in the chair and appreciate that incredible body that incredible creation that you are on a planet of seven and a half billion people. There is no one else like you in this universe. There is no one else like you. You are a unique creation. There is nothing else in the universe that compares to you. Appreciate your body. Appreciate what your body does for you. And you're going to look after it. You're going to take care of your body because it's you are worth it. Drift further away so you can look at the planet. See that beautiful, incredible planet below you. You may see it turning on its axis. See that beautiful, incredible blue planet way down below you. And notice as you look at that planet from way off how your perspective changes. Things that had seemed overwhelming no longer have any power over you. People that weren't on your side no longer have any power over you. Things that had seemed hard to do no longer have any power over you because you are taking back control of you. See your body in that chair when you're ready to make those changes completely. Just drift back over to your body, drop into your body and go even deeper into that wonderful profound state of hypnosis. And as you do that, notice how that appreciation of your body, appreciation of yourself has grown already. You are an incredible creation. There is nothing else in this universe compares to you. Feel it now. And go with your unconscious as often as you need to to know the truth of that, that you are incredible, you are worthy, and you will look after yourself, and you'll treat yourself to the right food that serves your purpose. You'll treat yourself to the right people that serve your purpose. People who genuinely care are on your side and on your path, who know what you want and on your side to help you get there. And you'll recognize those who aren't. And you'll find a way of making that separation, giving, taking their power away by going back to neutral. When you're in neutral, they cannot touch you. They cannot affect you. Now you have the ability to do so. So go with your unconscious as often as you need to, to know that you're free. 
free of every limiting belief because it was never real free of every negative thought that was placed on you it was only ever someone else's opinion it was never real imagine that's happening now and imagine it's happening automatically and imagine that you're free and there's nothing you can do about it even if at first you have to pretend it was something that was said to you something that was done to you you really have no choice you just love yourself and now it's okay to love yourself to treat yourself with kindness to be kind to yourself and imagine that's happened and there's nothing you can do about it because in a moment i'm going to count to 10 and on eight your eyes will open and you will feel incredible like you've had those blinkers removed, you will see things differently. You'll experience life differently. All of your senses will be heightened. Your sense of touch, your sense of smell, your taste buds, your eyesight, your hearing, all of your senses are going to be heightened along with that antenna. So get ready. As I count to 10, on eight, your eyes open, you are going to feel incredible. On 10, that feeling of empowerment that thing of freedom, that thing of inner love for yourself, that appreciation of you, it's going to grow stronger day by day. One, feeling absolutely wonderful. Two, to achieve everything you want to achieve and do it with love. Three, a thing of freedom from every limitation. They were never real in the first place. Four, feel the force of that energy and love once again, flooding your body, spreading out beyond your body. See it in your mind, going to the very edges of the universe. It is infinite. It has no edge. Five, feel incredibly alive now. Six, seven, eight, eyes opening, feeling absolutely incredible. Nine, ten. Excellent. We're in week five of our journey, those who joined us at the beginning. And I know for my own self, I've gone past that point now where there is a point of no return. I absolutely know I'm going to achieve what I want to achieve. And now we had Mike Mandel. If you didn't see him earlier, he was talking about fasting. I've recorded it. It is really worth watching. And as I was saying, if, I think all of you are in the, in the Create Your Own Body group. And if you want to do it, you know, let's have a little chat amongst ourselves. And maybe at the end of the week or something, we'll say, let's, let's go, let's do 24 hours together and see if you don't like it, you don't like it. Don't have to do it again, but see if it's not, if well, it won't be difficult because before we do it, if those who want to do it, I'll set up a little hypnosis session. So we just get our minds around the idea so we can be indifferent to food while we're fasting. So we can just have that 24 hours and see what happens. I know Doreen's doing, like two meals a day fasting, and that was that breakfast and dinner. Uh, no, I will start around uh, one or two o'clock in the afternoon. So I will I have like an, an hour window to eat, and then um, I'll have a late meal with my kids, and um, I'll have I'll have my own stuff and. Uh, they can have whatever they like. And then I, I will definitely not eat after seven. Right. So, and then I will fast till the next day. Um, well, between one and two. And sometimes occasionally when I'm not at home, I can, I can do it until four. Right. And, uh, and then have, have a little snack and then have, have my late dinner at, before seven. I mean, you did it, Jackie, for 72 hours. Yeah, I after reading the obesity code, I did that last week. Yes, honestly, it was no effort. I don't know whether it's coincidence, but I I did feel cold today, mm. and I don't know whether that was a result of it. It was just because it's cold. No, but I'm, I find myself could not be able to get warmed up. I suppose you go past that. Well, that's what I was. Anyway, if anyone wants to have a go, um, let's let's all get together. Just just um, message me. In fact, I'll put a little post in, and then you can all put fast or not in the in and i'll know and i'll contact everyone that's interested in doing it we'll set up a day where we'll have a go at it together i think that is the joy of this group although i don't need any of you 
I really don't need any of you. It is nice to have that support on certain things, okay? So if we're going to get together as a group and say, okay, let's do it 24 hours. I think we know that other people are doing it. It kind of keeps us on track for that day. And if you find we can do it, maybe the week after next, we can do a couple of days and see, see how it makes us feel. Um, but it definitely didn't affect me today. Can I just say, can I just ask what the app was that Mike was talking about? He said it was, uh, I'll write it down, Life Intermittent Fasting app. Thank Sounds you. pretty cool, actually. So I'm, I might download that. In fact, I will. You know, I, I had a look and there's a few of them. So I will ask Mike um, which one it was because... In between, I had a look in the app store and, and there was a few of them. So I'm not sure which one. So. Right. We've still got Diana and she's completely out of it. So I'm just going to try and <laughs> aim, some, <laughs> aim, aim some, some Diana. Yes, I loaded it already and um, it's oh, right. intermittent fasting. No, no, not you, Diana. There's another Diana down at the bottom there. I've just brought her oh. back out of trance. She was kind of gone there, and I was a bit concerned oh. that she would wake, up, wake up in three days' time, having done 72 hours of fasting. With, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's the answer. I'll just put you into trance for 72 hours, wake you up, <laughs> and you've done 72 hours fasting. It might be the easy way to go. But look, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this evening. I hope you're enjoying these little things. Again, if you've got any ideas for what, what you want me to work on, um, let me know. Uh, Shamsi, all of these daily ones are all on YouTube. And I think you get some benefit from it. I think you'll enjoy it, uh, along with the presentations and stuff. So I look forward to that. Yeah. But if I have to get back on for five weeks, it's going to be a, long, a lot of work. Well, they're only, you know, they're supposed to be 20 or 30 minutes, but I ramble on, most of them about an hour. Okay. But, you know, just binge over the weekend on Freddy Hypnosis. It yeah, I'm can good. only make you feel better. <laughs> no, good. It's uh, better, better than eating, let's put it that way. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I don't eat a lot, so. <laughs> right, okay, look, is, it, is there any questions for anybody? Forward. Sorry? I'm looking forward to that. And anyway, I see you on Saturday for the... Yeah, 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 for the training. I look forward to that. Has anyone got any questions before I kind of sign off? Um, I Freddie. Freddie. Oh, oh, hi, hi, first this side. Thanks, Freddie. Um, I was really hoping and wishing that you do a hypnosis session for the fasting. I have a major, major block. Do you? Major block. Okay. Well, let's get on it together, even if it's just you and me. Oh. No, all of us. I um, no, I'm saying whoever, whoever wants to join can join, but even if it is just me and you, then we'll do it. I'm Thank in. You. I'm in. You're <laughs> on it, Luke? Marie, looks yeah. like, like, okay, it's going to be about 400 of us fasting. <laughs> awesome. Right, okay. Thank you. But look, just, just contact me, let me know, and Ready? we'll all get on it. Did can someone ask me another question? Hi, yeah, oh, yeah. I Hi, just, Marga. Yeah. Can I just say something? Yeah. Um, I've been doing um, drinking celery juice. Right. First thing in the morning. And yeah. I tell you what, uh, I've heard about from uh, An Anthony. Yeah, that's right. And I've been doing that for the last uh, three weeks. And you don't feel hungry after that. You don't need any food after that. Right. It really keeps you... Uh, I don't know. I, I I'll don't try even, it. Yeah, because I, I like I do like celery, but I normally is, when I, I normally if I if I juice it, I juice it with apples or something. But I might yeah, try. Yeah, no, it. the juice is pure celery on your empty stomach, and for and apart from that, it's. I mean, I find it amazing, and my one of my daughters has a really bad skin, and I recommend it to her, and her skin starts to look already much better. Well, and we'll this it. is a guy called Anthony William. Right. Um, right. I can. I, I. I agree. I do the same. And it says all his books, books, medical mediums. It's called. Yeah. And it's really, really great stuff. Every day on an empty stomach, celery juice, no apples, nothing, no water, just pure celery juice because it restores your liver. It flushes all the toxins. It's amazing stuff. I could talk for hours, but it's not time. Well, I'll try okay, it. But I'll try it. 
But, you I mean, know, it's... that's the whole point of this group. People are people are putting the different uh, meal meal dishes in there and all kinds of stuff. And I put out a little challenge, the COVID Christmas cuisine challenge. Anyone wants to get on it? It's just like a ten or fifteen minute cookery. Film yourself preparing some food and tell us a little story at the same time. So some kind of little metaphor. I don't know if anyone's going to get on it. I think anyone's contacted me yet. I'll do one. So you, so you, you know, so you're not the only person doing it. I'll, I'll come up with something I can cook. Beans on toast is my kind of limit at the moment, but um, I'll find a way of making it attractive. No, so we'll find. So if you're Is interested in doing live? it, sorry? would you do it as a Facebook live or? No, I'm, what I'm saying to you is, is just make a little video, send it to me. I'll I'll do whatever I need to do, put it on our YouTube channel because we are we're, we are going to have this book out for next year with all the foods that people are putting on there, all the ideas on there, the celery juice idea, you know, and just let us know anything you think is going to help. We're going to put it in a book. And I, I did come up with a title for it today, which was, um, I think it was Recipes for, Recipes for Life, something like that. Oh, okay. Uh, recipes for, a, for a whatever. Uh, I did write it down and I'll, I'll show you it. So, yeah. Can I just uh, quickly ask how many uh, stalks of celery you do in the celery juice? Marga? It's half a litre. Yeah, something like that. 16 ounces. Yeah, 16 ounces. Half a liter, but it should be straight half a liter or 16 ounces, depending on what. Pure, pure, nothing else, just celery juice. But if you have a skin problem and it comes up more, then you have to start with a little bit less and build it up to that. Right. According to the celery book, Mm. it's called... It's called uh, Celery Juice by uh, Anthony William. And it's absolutely fascinating. The facts he's got about it okay. is fascinating. Whether you believe it or not, but celery doesn't cost anything. So oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, we'll try, well it. The, we'll try it. The thing is, if you're fasting, it will break your fast. So if you will try, if you were trying to do a fast, it will break your fast if you have the celery juice. So yeah, you have to consider what, what you're going to do. <laughs> Either you're going to do this or you're going to do that. Well, I but know. I think a half a liter of celery juice will break a fast. As any, uh, can any of you sing? Put your hands up if you can sing. Oh, Doreen, <laughs> all right, okay. Uh, all right, okay. Because um, Jessica, you know, uh, who's, who's part of our, our team here, she wrote a wonderful poem. I don't know if you've seen it on the... Yeah. Have you seen yes, it? Ah, oh, Diana. Hi. So I've... Hello. <laughs> Diana's back. So I've put, I've put some music to it. It's going to be our album for Christmas. So, oh. uh, yeah. So if you haven't seen the poem, then... Um, so words by Jessica, music by Freddie. And it's going to be as we march towards the new year. Okay. So, uh, anyway, it's been great. I'll get off now and nice to see you all. And I'll hopefully I'll oh, see you tomorrow. Any thank ideas you. what you want me to talk about, I'll talk about it tomorrow. Just let me know. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank Very you, Stay well. Be happy. Bye bye. Thank you. Take care. Bye.